Welcome back. Going above and beyond to support those who put their lives on the line for us. Johnson County Community College serves as a model for junior colleges everywhere. KMBC 9's Rob Hughes shows us why. It just, I don't know, broke my heart. Kenna Zumal yeah, saw the know. stress repeated deployments had on student right. veterans at Johnson County Community College. They were desperate, disconnected, um, you know, and, and they were just struggling. And there was really nothing for me to be able to help them with. Zumalt is the program director for the school's Veteran and Military Student Services, where veterans serve other transitioning veterans. You don't have to do it all alone. Uh, there's definitely other veterans that are going through the same process. So um, get involved. Uh, definitely take advantage of other resources here. Students have access to the Kansas Commission on Veterans Affairs and a community veterans engagement team. It's a great way for us to honor both current and past service members and veterans, but it's also a great connector um, between the community and the college. JCCC was also the first school in Kansas to be accepted into the University of Michigan PAVE program, Peer Advisors for Veteran Education. Zumalt loves the opportunity to work with people who want to make a difference. Helping them make their dreams come true. Rob Hughes, KBC 9 News. The center includes a VA counselor. You can learn more about the Johnson County Community College programs for veterans on the school's website.